Hi, it's Beauty by Annie, and I'm back with another tutorial. And this is kind of a request, and then it's also kind of a recreation of a look that I've seen. And this is actually a look done by Julie G713. She's a really popular guru, and I really like this look. And, I, and then um, a viewer, a subby of mine, X Nisi Babe Babe XX. <laughs> um, yeah. She was wondering like what other looks she could she recreate with like the beach palettes that she had and I don't actually have them so I've used colors that would be similar within the ones within other collections. You just match it up to something similar. It's really easy. I know sometimes you think that you have to have the exact palette as a guru has but in all honesty you don't. Um, you just match it up and that's the fun of it. You find something that will probably work within what you already have. I do it all the time. And I'm going to go ahead and introduce the products I'm going to be using in this video. My eyeshadow bases are the NYX in the skin tone and also the black paint pot in black track. Black ground. Black ground. <laughs> And you'll see how I apply that in a moment. I'm going to be using, see, for my fake eyelashes. I'm kind of jumping all over the place. But they're the Demi Wispies from Ardell. In minor and black, of course. And the foundations, I'll introduce those later in, in the video. And then the two palettes I'll be using is BH 3rd Edition 120. And also the BH 2nd Edition. So if you have any of the other ones, the cool matte palette, the cool tropical, the shimmer palette, this you'll definitely find the two most of the colors in the shimmer palette. Okay, so for you, Nisi, you're gonna be using the shimmer palette that you said that you had, and also the 88 neutral. So you'll find these colors, similar colors. If not, honestly, they seem when I was looking on the website, they seem like they're the same. Okay, so I hope it helps you and just Let's get started with the eyes. Okay, stay tuned. Okay, so taking the paint pot and black ground from MAC, I'm gonna start applying a base onto the lid. I'm just using it sparingly because I want the color to pop, but I don't want it to overpower. And then I'm gonna take also my eyeshadow base in the skin tone from NYX that I always use. Now I'm taking a blending brush. I'm just going to blend all this out. Okay, this black sparkly color. And any black sparkly color will do. You're not limited to only this palette. Just keep that in mind. And I'm just taking a medium shadow brush because it's a little flatter. And I load up the shadow brush and I'm gonna and just tap off any extra. So there's your product right there. And I'm gonna start on the inner corner of the eye. And also lay it on the outer corner of the eye. Blue color with Oops. shimmer to it. I'm using this one. And lay it on the center of the lid. in the same palette and you can find it in any kind of neutral palette it's just a neutral skin tone so pick one accordingly for you and I'm taking my client Sonia Kashuk crease brush and I'm just going to work that along the line and it helps blend it out pearly color as a highlight so there should be some shimmer available like that. If not, just pick 
just a good highlight for your own tone. This one is not like palette specific to, to be honest. And then I'm just going to trace right underneath the eyebrow with this. another fluffy eyeshadow brush and then you're going to take and this is actually from the 120 third edition I'm just taking another like pearly color again just find them in a set it doesn't have to be these exact ones I just use a different range of highlights and honestly you probably have some good ones in any neutral palette Just find a burnt orange. For those of you who may be using other palettes in BH Cosmetics, the 88 Neutral palette had some really pretty burnt oranges kind of towards the center. But I'm going to be using this. And I'm going to be using an eye contour brush. So right above the crease work I did, I'm going to lay down this color. You can pick up a lighter one too, a lighter orange, to make it pop more. Now you just need to do just the liner. I'm not winging it. You can just line your eyes with any liquid liner, like so. Go ahead and get just a little pencil brush and take some of the, the blue and the black and line your bottom line lashes. Okay, when I come back, I'll have my thick lashes on and then we'll be ready to do the rest of the look. And also I'll have on my foundation. Okay, so I'm back and I already applied my foundation concealer. This lighting, I'm still playing around with it, so bear with me. Um, so I already did that and I applied my fake eyelashes and I'm like looking around. So I applied fake eyelashes and they're the Demi Wispies. And I just got them from Sally's, they're like the Ardell brand but they're really natural and then I just blended them with my new favorite cheap thrill, the e.l.f. waterproof and lengthening mascara. So I applied it to right underneath and then on the bottom lashes. And if you're wondering what foundation I'm using, I'm actually using the Maybelline Fit in 350 and I primed with the Revlon Photo Ready. So I'm actually gonna be doing a quick review on both of these afterwards, so stay tuned. Okay, for a blush, I'm just going to do something more peachy and natural. I'm going to be using the Milani and Luminoso. And then I'm just going to take like a little brush and just warm up my cheeks with it. And I'm just doing it right on kind of that cheekbone And I area. blend it out with a Kabuki brush. And for the lips, I'm actually just using Plain Jane from BH Cosmetics. It's just a nude. And I know I usually prep with the um, MAC um, lip primer, but I'm just going to be using a gloss today, so I don't really see the need. And then I'm going to warm it up. This is like from Walgreens, the Sinful Colors. They usually make the nail polishes, but this one is like a tangerine color. Just to give it some warmth.
And then I just, like I, you saw me, I just put it on the center of the lips and then I just blend it out. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this. It was something fun to recreate and I hope it helped you all who may have had other palettes and don't don't know exactly how to take the looks that I do from my available palettes and translate it to yours. So enjoy and stay tuned for the next video. Bye.